mental health is an issue that should always be taken seriously and not looked down on. Here is a story about how the sudden loss of both parents made the six-week-old an instant orphan. Clayton Austin is a 24-year-old man who served in the United States Marine Corps and had been a SWAT team member. He was a very good military man who served his country diligently and excelled in his duties. This young man's career was on the up until he surprisingly decided to take a different route that many never expected. He quit the Corps and decided to join another branch of the security forces. The American wanted to become a sheriff. His closest friends said Clayton joined the local law enforcement agency because he wanted to work with civilians. And guess what? He excelled there as well. In November 2019, he joined the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office. Clayton was very popular and respected among his peers. This deputy sheriff was an asset to the force. A year after he joined the force, he won awards for his efforts. Clayton was awarded the Deputy of the Quarter for December month of 2020 and also the overall Deputy of the Year 2020 by his esteemed department. Isn't that impressive? Sheriff Ken Mascara said, Clayton was one of our best officers. His experience as Marine was invaluable and he was a shining light for us. But he was not just a good police officer. He was also a fine man, humble, honest, and respected by everyone. This was why everyone loved him. Things were going well and then it got even better when he found the love of his wife. Victoria Pacheco joined the force in February 2020, about a year after Clayton did. Many describe her as an energetic, genuine, honest, and kick-ass person who had a passion for serving in law enforcement. Before becoming a law enforcement officer, she attended Indian River State College and graduated from South Fork High School in 2016. For these two deputy sheriffs, it was love at first sight. A few weeks after they met each other, the pair started dating. They were the perfect match. Because it's not every day you meet someone who shares the same hobby with you and wants to achieve success in the same field. I think the story of Clayton and Victoria is a case of when you meet the right person, you just know. You don't delay because you might never meet that kind of person ever again. So you just go for it. And that's exactly what the Deputy of the Year 2020 did. Months after they started dating, he went down on one knee and proposed. Of course, she said yes. The duo got married in an intimate ceremony that included just their family and a couple of friends from the office. Victoria's grandmother Bernice Bartolini described the story as a fairy tale. She described Clayton and her granddaughter as the modern day Romeo and Juliet. They were the perfect couple and they had a bright future ahead of them. The young couple was also eager to have kids of their own. Thankfully, they had no fertility problems and didn't have to wait long before the young lady became pregnant. Bernice said, they would be the best parents a child could have. I am sure of it. I love them both because Clayton is an intelligent and well-behaved boy. After 12 weeks of gestation, Victoria went for her first ultrasound scan. The scan results showed that the deputy sheriff was carrying a boy. The couple was excited and the doctor told them that their baby was in perfect condition. Clayton had always hoped that his son would be born before December so that they could all enjoy their first Christmas as a family. And that's exactly what happened. In November 2021, Victoria went into labor. Her husband was on duty, but he was able to make it home in time to rush her to the hospital. She had no problems during delivery, and with the help of the medical team, JC was born. Clayton and his wife were very happy. This was a dream come true, and he had the family he hoped for. A few days later, the new mother and her little boy were discharged from the hospital. However, after enjoying Christmas together, on the last day of the year, something no one saw coming happened. According to a press release by Sheriff Mascara, the deputies responded to a 911 call before midnight on New Year's Eve. What they didn't expect was that this call was made by someone they all know. Victoria had to make the call after her husband had tried to take his own life. Clayton was off duty when this incident happened. Everyone at the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office was stunned when they found out that it was their fellow officer who attempted to kill himself. Thankfully, the father of one was still alive. He was rushed to the nearest hospital and doctors had to place him on a life support machine to keep him alive. Everyone in their neighborhood was surprised when they heard what had happened. Many people in Lucie County all believed that Clayton had a perfect life, that he and his wife were not only ambitious, but their career was also progressing at a rapid pace as well. And he was thrilled to be a father. 
On the 2nd of January, two days after the incident, he hadn't improved. His family took him off life support and Clayton passed on to greater glory. His wife Victoria was inconsolable. She loved him so much and it was very hard for her to imagine a life without him. Two days after her husband died, this female cop ended things by herself as well. While it is very sad that Jace was now an orphan, something remarkable happened and he was now going to get all the support he needed to help him live a comfortable life. While mourning her granddaughter, Bernice said, My heart is so sad. I thought I was hurting before I lost my beautiful granddaughter. It's a tragic Romeo and Juliet story. They are now together forever. Victoria and I were very close when I lived in Florida. She was there for me, and I wish I could have been there for her. I'm so proud of my granddaughter for the short time she was here. She was a wonderful person. Vicky was very good at her job, and she was a good mother. No one understands why this happened. She made a big difference, and I am missing her so much. But the most important thing to all of us now is Jace. Sheriff Mascara also had good things to say about the couple. As sheriff, I saw these two deputies as young, ambitious, and a great compliment to my already amazing group of professionals. To the general public, and sometimes even myself, it's easy to view law enforcement as superhuman. But let's not forget that they're human, just like us. Law enforcement officers deal with not only the day-to-day -day stress we all face, but also the stress of those whom they serve in our community, which can sometimes be very challenging. Clayton was super funny, driven, and an outstanding young man. The couple would not be forgotten by any of us, not just because of how well they served the country, but because of the person they were. Remember I said something remarkable happened for the little son out of all this? Well, a GoFundMe page was set up for the child by friends of the family. The page stated, Tragically, for reasons completely unknown and totally out of character, Clayton took his own life on December 31st, 2021. Reeling from the shock of loss, Victoria took her own life two days later. Baby Jace now needs the support of the community and country to help provide for him going forward. They also called on the community to help collect basic items for baby Jace, such as diapers, wipes, formula, and gift cards. And guess what? Now Jace already has over a year's support of baby formula, but the overwhelming support doesn't end there. The fundraising page was started to raise $10,000. Right now, the page has over $120,000. Isn't that amazing? Now Jace will not lack financial support for everything he needs his parents have been honored with the best deputy awards for their continuous service and justice actions. They were laid to rest side by side in American flag-covered caskets in a solemn funeral. It was attended by family, friends, and dozens of their fellow officers with the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office in Florida, who saluted their coffins as they passed by. What do you think about this couple's story? See you next time!